Iron Eyed, welcome back to another video. Now, today we are back with another Sakura Succubus 4 video. And uh, where we left off, um, we're here with Cosmos on the beach near the sunset. And uh, she's looking pretty uh, spicy right now. And uh, mm, But moving on, we are about to literally get straight into taking photos with her on the beach. So let's get right into it. Wow. The beach looks so pretty. I'm sure my fans will love these photos. <laughs> Cosmos and I promenade along the sunset beach. Her a little ahead of me. She has her phone grasped in one hand, which she points to the rolling red orange surf and swaying palm trees. Cosmos' face is lit up with girlish excitement and her eyes are so wide. She looks so exhausted I wouldn't be surprised if the fox ears on top of her head start to twitch. Right now, she really does remind me of a small, curious animal. <laughs> now that's the the comparison takes me back to our very first date when Cosmos asked me to walk with her on a leash in the street. That was a pretty wild thing to do, though it's not the most brazen thing I've done with this girl. Our first encounter prior to our first date was on a busy Tokyo train. I was meaning to work, minding my own business, when a very attractive girl in a pair of short shorts pressed herself against me, and, uh, well, the rest is history. Audacious through her behavior might be, Cosmos is sweet nature, and among her suckless sisters, she's the most hung up about being my girlfriend. In that sense, She's pretty traditional. Though the stuff she comes out with can be on the zanier side. She's not doing anything too strange right now, though. She's just taking a bunch of snapshots, as any holiday maker would do. You want to take some photos too, Hideki? It seems a shame not to. We need to preserve these memories forever. That's a sweet sentiment. But it's fine. If you want to look back on this vacation, I can take a look through the photos. But you work as a photographer, Yedeki. Cosmo tilts her head askance. Don't you like taking photos? I did, once upon a time. But... Hobbies lose their appeal when you turn them into a day job. I was passionate about taking photos once upon a time, but now it reminds me of my work and to my boss. I don't want to think about him when I'm with you. Oh, I see. That's, my house. It, that's a shame. If I ever got tired of taking photos, I'd be really sad. I found it a lot of fun. I'm glad you find it fun. Just don't stop on your own account. Take as many photos as you want. I was going to, but Cosmo looks at me curiously. If you don't find photography fun anymore, what do you do as a hobby? I haven't had much time for hobbies since I started working for the Sakura Daily. My boss is a slave driver and I am a surf. I don't know if I've got any pastime I care about. You have your photography and Hazel always exercises and Ifumi cooks and plays Kuruto. But as far me, I 
think I'm happiest when I spend my time with all of you. Really? Cosmos eyes lit up. You mean that? Yeah, you always cheer me up. If I had to pick a hobby, I guess that. Or maybe making you happy. That sounds too selfless to be a hobby. You need to enjoy yourself more. But I am enjoying myself. I have loads of fun. I don't need to worry on that score. I hope not. It's fine, Cosmo. I close the distance between us with a few shrugs. Then, ruffle the top of her head. I do this pretty frequently with Cosmo. I know Marina and AU wouldn't like it. They feel the mean. And Hazel and Fumi aren't the kind of girls who kindle my desire to pat heads, but Cosmos appreciates it. She always sighs and leaves me. She always sighs and leans into my hand when I stroke her, once more like a fluffy animal. It's normal for people to fall in and out of love with their hobbies, to find new interests, and move on with their lives. But I never lost interest in you. You feel the whole photography left behind, and more besides. There's never a dull moment when I'm with you or your sisters. There's always something fun to do. I'm not sad, okay? Okay. Cosmo replies after a pause with a nod of her head. I'm glad you're happy, but you think I should find you a new hobby. Maybe you should take up a... I did play the guitar back in high school. Really? That's so cool. Not really. I only learned a few notes. It'd be fun to pick it back up again, though. You should. I'll support you. I'll be your number one fan. Oh, that's cute. Thank you. Thank you, Cosmos. I really appreciate it. Really? Thanks, Cosmos. I'll be sure to send you my first mixtape, then. I'd love that but there's something else I'd like. I've taken a lot of photos of the beach for my Rapid Town account, but I was wondering, Cosmos digs the tip of her sneaker into the sand, uncharacteristically coy. Can we take a few photos together? Of course. Just don't go uploading them to social media and we should be all good. I wouldn't. I want to keep you all to myself. You belong to me. Cosmos bounds towards me, her phone in hand. She looks very enthusiastic about the prospect of a couple's photo shoot. Now, say cheer! Ooh, oh no. What happened? In fact, she's a bit too enthusiastic. Stop! Before you continue on with the video, I want to ask you guys a couple questions. Are you struggling with sleeping? Are you struggling with dehydration? Are you struggling with having energy in the morning, day, and night when it comes to gaming? I got a solution for y'all. Head on over to Poggers. This is going to be one of the few drinks that they actually released, and it's actually really, 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 really cool. Um, they even released their new flavor last month, which is Rocket Pop. Make sure to go ahead and check them out. Link in the description down below. Use creator code ZM for 10% off your order. Enjoy the video, everybody. In her haste, she trips over her feet and goes tumbling to the ground. Oh no. Cosmo sits sprawled on the sand, her legs spread inelegantly. Her phone lies on the sand beside her, downturned. With a bit of luck, the sand cushioned the worst of the blow. I hope it's not broken. I know how much Cosmos loves her phone. I'm a bit more worried about Cosmos herself right now, though. Are you okay? I, I, I think I'm fine. Cosmos 
retrieves her phone, then examines it. She wipes the touchscreen, turns it on, and sighs in relief when her phone responds accordingly. The phone is still good, but my ankle... Oh no. It feels kind of funny. Don't tell me. Did you twist it? Maybe? Oh, let's see. Oh, come on, Cosmos. God damn it. Cosmos tried to stand, and this accomplished nothing other than the second in legal. Weak. Ignore me. She slumps back down onto the sand, still clutching her phone like a tailsman. Her face is red and her chest is heavy. I think she might be in the worst shape than she's letting on. We'll have to postpone our photo shoot for the present. Cosmos welfare <clears throat> is vastly more important. I don't think you should be standing. You'll put too much pressure on your leg. Let me help you. How are you going to do that exactly? I can carry you back to AU's beach house. Then I can get Hikomi to take a look at you. She seems pretty reliable. She should be able to tell if you sustained any serious damage. But, 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 but I, but, but I, but, but that would put you out, Katie. I don't want to be a burden. It's no burden at all. I'm your boyfriend. Carrying you when you're hurt is all a part of the job description. But don't be too heavy. Who said you were heavy? Hey, you did. She said I eat too much sweets. And I don't leave the house enough. She warned me if I don't watch out, I'd get squishy. I don't think you're squishy. Hey, you only said that because she's jealous you have more followers than her. But Hazel said I need to exercise more. Hazel thinks everybody needs to exercise more. She's a total health nut. Now, me... Oh, that's adorable. That's really adorable. I'm not even going to That's just so sweet. This is a really, really good scenery right here. I like this. I bend down, then gather Cosmos up in my arms. She's not feather light, but she's not particularly heavy either. I can straighten up without too much of a struggle. I don't think I'd be able to support her for hours on end, but the brisk five-minute walk across the beach to a used house should be more manageable. There we go. That wasn't too hard. Uh, are you sure? Cosmos surveys me shyly. Her dark eyelashes tremble. putting any strain on you, am I? It's fine. I can scarcely even feel you. That's a lie, but Cosmos doesn't need to know the full truth. She's insecure enough as if she is. Surprisingly enough, <clears throat> given her career choices. You think a girl that's making a living selling scantily clad photos of herself would be more confident about her body, but apparently not. She has several hang-ups of her own, but that doesn't make me love her any less. In fact, her vulnerable side only makes me care for her all the more. So, um, this is okay? It's more than okay. I like looking at you. It's my hobby, remember? I reckon I'm better than this. Music or writing, at least. You're very cool, yes. <laughs> Cosmo giggles, appeased, and rests her head against my chest. <sighs> the wind stirs her hair, so it brushes my cheek, and the waft of her fruity shampoo goes up in my nostril. I can feel her body heat, not to mention the softness of her skin beneath her clothes. I can guarantee this is a pretty intimate pose. Yeah, it is, it is. It definitely is. If it's okay, I guess I can take advantage of your kindness. 
Thank you, Hiroki. When you hold me like this, it makes me feel like a princess. You are a princess. You're my princess. <laughs> She's adorable. Cosmos' face burns red. That's adorable. But when you say stuff like that, my heart starts beating so fast. And my face feels so hot. You're so nice to me. I'm not even sure if I deserve it. And you teases me and Marina scolds me, but you're so understanding. Cosmos smiles at me. It's a very soft, gentle smile, warmer than the sun as it sinks beneath the horizon. You're the best boyfriend in all of them. It's late in night and I curled up beneath my covers, all warmed and toasted. And that's where we're going to end it. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. Also, hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. It's been Zed, guys. I will see you guys next time. Later. Bye.